I'm super excited to get to talk to you about the show. I just finished watching the first season last night, and I think it's safe to say the two of you play some of the most badass women <laughs> on the show. Um, Thank you. <laughs> for both of you, how familiar were you with the franchise before you signed on? Well, in my case, I knew about the franchise. Of course, I watched some of the movies. I played the first game, and then I got to play the, the last game, the VR one. So, of course, um, like I'm in my 40s. I know everything about Resident Evil. I never thought I was going to be part of the world, uh, the franchise, and I'm really grateful for that. Very similar here in terms of it's such an iconic franchise. There's no world in which I don't think you can really find anyone who hasn't at least heard of Resident Evil. Um, so definitely watch the movies. I did not play the games. However, did watch people play it for me just on you know YouTube, kind of like a Twitch situation. Um, but yeah, familiar with the franchise. Also lots of friends and family who are really big fans of either the movies or the games. Yeah. It is kind of like a movie when you get to watch someone else play it. I've done that before for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> when did the two of you officially learn who you were playing? Was it anything that was kind of held back? Were you not sure who you were auditioning for at first, or it was something that you kind of always knew which character you were going to be? For me, I learned, uh, you know, they sent me the character description. So I basically knew what kind of character she was. I didn't know if, if she was just one of the main um, characters. I didn't know at first, I didn't know if she it was part of like this group of villains. Like I didn't know much until I read all the episodes and, you know, at episode, when is when, uh, is it episode eight? The the reveal of uh, what's I think really in the future, what's happening with Evelyn. Six. So is it six? And then when I read also that big twist at the end that has to do with uh, Bill, big uh, older Billy and Evelyn, I found that really interesting because I was so not mm -hmm. expecting that. And uh, I think that's a really interesting twist to the story. So I think for me, actually, I did initially go out for a different character but I think this was at a time when they were just in general auditioning. They didn't really have an idea yet. And then I remember I got the callback for Billy specifically. And that was a known thing for me from the get-go. When I did get the callback, they did give me more information. Um, they were kind enough to send me, I don't know if this is like the third time now, but like at some point they gave me the scripts. Um, I think just two scripts, one of young me that I could understand and one of one of the audition scenes I was doing. So I did know early on um what was going to happen ish but I didn't understand like where it was going to fall in how exactly it was going to happen I didn't know everything that young me had gone through yet did not know about the ending um <laughs> so there was still a lot of mystery uh but yeah I did have a good idea actually they were very generous Paula Evelyn is a character who holds so much power for much of the season but there's so much more to her than just being kind of the figurehead and the top of the umbrella chain, what did you want to emphasize in portraying her, not just as a powerful woman? Pain. That's what I wanted. <laughs> to, uh, I wanted her, I want, and I still want uh, fans of, of, of the, the, the show uh, to see her as a wounded person, you know, that is trying to gain some control of her life and she wants to be recognized and respected and just can that she's she makes all the wrong decisions of course but i just want people to connect with the part that i connect to to her which is the need to be important the need to be seen the need to um make a difference i think she's she is she has a huge ego and she really wants to make a difference and she really wants respect and recognition and to belong and we all have the those things in like different you know doses and uh the fact that yeah she is a sociopath oh you can see her as a really bad person but i i, I find really interesting with when we as actors can manage. I don't know if I'm going to manage. I don't know if I did a good job, but I wanted to make her human. And I wanted to, to have those moments of humanity where we can see her pain and we can see that she doesn't have the control that she wants to have all the time. I mean, for what it's worth, I think you did a great job of capturing those complexities to her character. Um, when it comes to the character of Billy, we have 
the same character who's being played by two different actresses, both of you having to take her on at very different points in her life. Um, I know you said that you had been given the chance to read a script kind of, you know, of her uh, from a younger age. Um, Were you able to see Sienna's performance at all? Like, were there any opportunities that you had to kind of see what she was doing and then would then in turn help to develop your own portrayal, like anything that you took from her and tried to reflect? This is a very long winded question. I'm sure. No, but yeah, yeah. Um, (laughs) No, thank you for the question. Um, A hundred percent. So I did get the scripts, but I came in later, obviously in the episodes, therefore later on to set. Um, So Sienna had already kind of established young Billy. You know, it's one thing like reading about it and kind of making your own assumptions for your older Billy. It's another two. It's kind of almost like a blessing to be able to watch like a couple of clips. They gave me a couple of clips of her um, for one of the scenes or a couple of scenes that she had done. Um, I also was in contact with her before, um, since we knew who was already cast. And I remember when she got her hair done, I was like, oh my God, is that the hair we're getting? (laughs) Like, are we, I know it's like years apart, but I think that was something that we kind of, that I also wanted to have in common with young Billy, um, that I also pushed for, and I'm happy they did it. (laughs) Um, but yeah, in terms of character, I think there was elements of her personality that, I kind of saw in myself or like an older Billy as is. Cause I mean, ultimately we pour ourselves into these characters. And I think that Sienna and I had a couple of things in common and therefore, even though their personalities have or Billy's personality has evolved at the core, it's the same person, right? They just choose to, they just have different thoughts maybe now um, or choose to do things a little bit differently or navigate the world differently. Um, but ultimately, about a girl who loves her sister who had to go through a lot of turmoil or has also like a loving but also a complicated relationship with her sister and her father um yeah it's definitely a lot of complicated family relationships for both of your characters you know I would say um I know you probably can't say much but given that we do kind of know there is a little bit of a connection between your characters at some point in the future what can you tease for fans about about that expect the unexpected let me tell you in every sense yeah it's hard not to yeah I would say just like not all the characters that seem to have control have the control I mean you can always expect uh that the um, power shifts like in life like power shifts even if you don't expect it. I mean, at least for my character, like Mm -hmm. that she's she's holding on to this power and control. And I really think that uh, that applies to life, right? When you hold tight, I have a phrase, I mean, uh, this phrase that I love hearing of like, hold it loosely, Mm -hmm. because if you hold the things like really tight, you're probably gonna at some point like lose uh, all control. And that, that applies to Evelyn. So. Mm-hmm. I feel that the control theme is is really important for both yeah. of our characters. And then I guess the only thing that I will say too is, which is cool, which I didn't think about, but it's true. Evelyn gets to have, or actually no, you, Paola, get to have the experience as Evelyn with young and older Billy. And let's just say that the twist is stark. I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely fair to say. Um, I am all out of time, but thank you both so much for taking time to talk about this show. I'm really excited for everyone else to get to see it. You both do some really great work thank together you. and apart. So looking forward to everyone else getting to see that too. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much.